your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. In today's entertainment this week, we say goodbye to 51-year-old Beth Chapman. The star of the hit show Dog the Bounty Hunter, with her husband Dwayne Dog Chapman, died in a Honolulu hospital Wednesday after battling throat cancer for several years. The news sent a wave of sadness through the fandom. Many related to the star of the small screen and admired her relationship with her husband and family, as shown in the reality show. Her husband, Dog Chapman, said she spent her final hours on Earth worrying about her family and if they would be okay without her. Beth Chapman had recently been placed in a medically induced coma after deciding to stop treatment for the terminal illness. Beth and Dwayne first rose to prominence on A&E when their series first premiered in 2004. Beth was also heavily involved in the upcoming WGN America reality series, Dogs Most Wanted, and was filming the series until almost her last day. Her battle with cancer was to be a focus on the series. It's unclear if the show will premiere. The Dixie Chicks have announced a new album is in the works. Fans have just been waiting a short 13 years for the big news. A short video on Instagram release said, album coming, followed with their producer saying, someday. The last release, Taking the Long Way, won a Grammy for their album of the year. The group has been doing projects on their own for many years. Natalie Maines released her own solo album, and Marty McGuire and Emily Robinson started a band called the Courtyard Hounds. Madonna is doing one of the things she does besi best besides singing, acting, writing, and producing. Reaching out to conquer causes she feels are important. Like many artists for generations, she is making a statement in her words, videos, and actions. In the video for her new single, God Control, she focuses on gun violence. The video begins with a warning for viewers and shows people, including Madonna, being gunned down with an assault rifle weapon on a dance floor. The scene is evocative of the Pulse nightclub attack in 2016, which 49 people were killed. The mother of six says she feels a responsibility to the children of the world. I Rise, another single from her Madam X album, features a sample from a now famous speech made by Parkland, Florida student Emma Gonzalez, a survivor of the 2018 mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The BET Awards were presented Sunday night. Regina Hall hosted the show, which highlights and celebrates African Americans and American minorities in music, acting, sports, and other fields of entertainment over the past year. This year, Childish Gambino wins the Best Video category with This Is America. Beyonce won for Best Female R&B and Pop Artist. Bruno Mars took home the Best Male R&B Artist Award. Cardi B won the Best Female, Female Hip Hop Artist. And Lut Nipsey Hussle for Best Male. Best New Artist was Lil Baby and Migos received the Best Group Award. For more information, go to the BET Awards on the web. Reporting for News 25, I'm Maria Guerra, and this is your Entertainment This Week.